feel like I just ate Hello Kitty's boogers. <laughs> Welcome to Food Fears, where I make something you hate taste great. Today's guest is a three-time, count it, three-time champion of Trivia Night at Barney's Beanery in Burbank, California. It's Emily Fleming. Emily, what's the capital of Malaysia? Oh, come on. You think I'm going to know that? Wrong. Kuala Lumpur. Anyways, how you doing? Welcome. I'm doing great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You don't seem too happy because I'm guessing you understand what's about to happen today. Yeah. Great. You're giving me nothing. That's fantastic. I'm just like really just nervous, like Josh, and it smells like a like a three-year-old's fart in here, and I'm like really, really yes. scared. Today we're eating three-year-old's farts. Um, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed spiky nightmare stink fruit, also known as durian. So this. this stuff is so smelly that in Southeast Asian countries like Thailand and Singapore, it's not even allowed on public transportation. Just get a big old whiff of that oh, right God. there. You gotta uh, yeah, that's... really implant that in your brain. Mm. So, what is that? What is in there? Uh, some sort of nut, some oh, sort God. of seed or nut. Uh, okay. So as is tradition, we have to try this in its most pure form so I can know how to kind of gauge what I'm making around your taste. So if you just want to like scoop out a nut, we can just suck it directly off that. Oh God. What else do you have to do today? Oh God, I'm sucking a nut for the internet. Yeah, we all are, metaphorically or literally. Oh God, oh God. Just, just get in. Oh, it just looks like, Put oh, it looks it. like booger salad. Oh no. All right. Great. Oh no! And so we're just gonna go Josh. Ahead. I'm okay. here to eliminate your food fears, but first we have to face them nut first. So we're gonna gingerly touch our tips, I dip it, and dip it. The, okay. Just go ahead and give it a like an oyster. Uh. <laughs> That's not pleasant. What are you thinking right now? There's a kind of really snotty texture to it. I have to focus. Okay, it's down. All right. Um, did you love it or did you love it? I uh, survived it. <laughs> Just the imp, the way it looks and then the way it feels. It's like old bad cheese, but then it's also got like a like skin in it. Okay, so you I, hate the smell, you hate the texture. Uh, I can try and those aren't problems I for me. I feel like I just ate Hello Kitty's boogers. <laughs> Some businessmen pay a lot of money to do that. Ugh, uh, in my mouth, oh God. I think I can make you love this. I'm gonna try and transform this into a completely new dish. Just give me about an hour, come back, and we are going to take all the old skin and cheese elements out of it, try and replace it with, um, well, we'll see. I don't have a lot of faith in this booger soup. <laughs> Will it come off the nut next time? Yeah, it stays on the nut, the all nut right. stays. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm very excited. Food fears! We're making a durian ice cream. Starting with a super simple sweet cream base. So I'm just gonna blend some fresh durian pulp with the milk, the smells and the sounds. And then we're actually gonna take freeze dried durian powder for some more kick. And then a whole lot of sugar, spill most of it on your blender, key part of the recipe. The Choco Taco to me is the absolute king of ice cream truck options because it takes every single component. It has the chocolate swirl, it has the ice cream, it has the nuts, it has the chocolate coating, it has the shell. That is like five layers of flavor, but you get to eat every single thing in one bite. Then once that's fully combined, you're gonna take all of that delightful durian mixture, you're gonna throw it into a bowl, then you're gonna put in heavy cream. And then this just gets whisked up. It smells like if someone just died inside of a large mango. I kinda like that though. So once your ice cream base is all whisked up, you can throw that into your ice cream maker for about 45 minutes. It'll still be pretty soft, but you want it to be soft because we're gonna stir in the durian caramel. For me, the best part about a Choco Taco are those swirls of chocolate throughout the ice cream. And so I'm gonna replace the chocolate with a salted durian caramel. To make the durian caramel, I am melting sugar in a pot, and I wanna use a live flame for this because electric burners aren't good for how finicky caramel can be. And so then I'm melting butter in another pot along with durian that's been blended with milk. And then I'm gonna add the hot milky durian butter to the melted sugar. And then you just whisk that in super violently and then add salt to get that saline punch. All right, so the ice cream has about 10 minutes left and that's when you wanna take your cool down caramel and you wanna drizzle that in. Ice cream's already spinning, so it'll just create nice ribbons. Kinda of get some motion on the spoon in there. And you just kinda of jab at it. You're just gonna to wanna to jab at it with your spoon. It's actually like a fun little game where you try and miss the ice cream blade 
and then you hit stop, and then it's perfect. Food fears! I'm making the sweet taco shell by using the same technique I would to make a waffle cone. So I make the batter with a little bit of ginger and cardamom just to get some kind of warm spice in there. And we got a waffler right here. This is typically made for a waffle cone, but if you take that and you shape it over a taco mold, then you got a waffle taco cone. Waffle cone taco, waffle cone taco shell durian taco chaco. And you just got a spoon in, about a tablespoon of that batter. And then you just close it up, clamp it down, wait 30 seconds. This is just a sticker that came with the taco mold. Mine won't look nearly that good. This was obviously done by a professional. I am just an amateur who screwed up most things. All right, the waffle taco I think is done. Oh, that looks gorgeous. This is ready to go. So we're just gonna lift it off very gingerly. And this is gonna go right over the taco sticker. And you have to work fast. Take a paper towel because it's very hot. And you're gonna press it in and hold it for about 15 seconds. And the waffle maker actually came with this really sweet waffle pattern band-aid that isn't covering up an open wound that I've been touching uh, with everything. And whoever eats this totally isn't gonna get, uh, I don't know, avian flu that's still going around. So after a rest, you can pull off the paper towel. If you see the sugar is actually hardened and it keeps it form-fitted. Assembling this Choco Taco is incredibly important for the war against the machines. When the robot apocalypse comes, we as humans need to rise up and show that we are as useful as the machines in the Choco Taco factory, and we can do this just as well. So you take the taco shell and you gotta fill it delicately with ice cream and really spoon it out over the top to create a smooth layer and then you dip that into the magic shell and you gotta work fast. And the clock is ticking here. Your ice cream is melting and the robots know that. Don't give in. So before the ice cream melts, you gotta roll that quickly into the coconut and then get that into the freezer as fast as possible. You got like an eight second window or else you're done. And then the robots win. I've seen the Matrix, not the sequels. Emily, what I've made for you today is the Durian Choco Taco. Ooh. We took the fruit, we infused it into ice cream, we made a caramel with the durian, and then we dipped that into a white chocolate durian shell with some toasted coconut on top. It's really pretty. Thank you. Yeah. I have an eye for aesthetics. That's what <laughs> yeah, my middle okay. school art teacher told me. Well, then that's... You remind me a lot of her. God, I get teacher stuff a lot. <laughs> I wish it was like, you know, that counselor I always had a crush on. It's always just like, you remind me of someone who told me to shut up. No, it was my art teacher. She had a lot of cats. That's what it is. All right. I well, don't have any cats, okay? I don't. All yet. Right. Let's try these taco tacos. I'm very All excited. Right. Gonna tip it and dip it. Oh, oh wow. Mmm. <laughs> my teeth are sensitive to cold. I do. <laughs> we should be using Sensodyne. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm sure it would help. We are not that old yet. Wait till you get cats. <laughs> That's really good. How much of the fartiness are you getting? I am getting a little bit of the cheesy note mm -hmm. there, but I don't mind it. I tried to really punch that in the face with salted caramel. It's like a tropical kind of like cheesecake situation. That's great. Cheesecake factory good. built a whole empire. Yeah, and I that. love the coconut with it. Yeah? That's really nice. So you've, you've been fully converted to durian. Like, you're gonna start eating this with your lunch every day. No, I'd like to eat my friends. Okay, that's fine. So, the smell, although I don't smell it, I don't know if I smell anymore <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it, it really punches you right in the back of the smell factor. But it definitely has that, it's that oniony, yeah. kind of cheesy taste it's to it. It's not that, I didn't want to completely run from the durian. I wanted to just kind of like present it to you, yeah. uh, like putting lipstick on a pig. Except this is a spiky nightmare food. Yeah, well, yeah. no, I, I really like this, and I really like that. What is this? Is oh, that's a chocolate? durian white chocolate shell with a little bit of turmeric just for color. Ooh, yeah, it really does. It's really nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. You did good. My art teacher was never this nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and please come back next week to see me feed Jordan some bull testicles. And let me know in the comments what your most feared food is.